everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Muscle and Fitness Reps. I'm Don Saladino. I'm Zach Ziegler. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know on Reddit there's a thread that asks if you're on juice or natural? What's Reddit? You know, I would, like, this is your cover. Who's this? There, there, there's your cover. But I mean, look, I don't see how you can look at that and there's other obviously there's a bunch of pictures uh, of you online on your Instagram sure, no, and all no, no, no. this is this is legit yeah, yeah I know but like I, I thought that that was interesting because there it, it wasn't it wasn't like people were dumping on you saying but there was some people like dude totally juiced up you know or something like that I'm, I'm you know I, I I gotta be you know what's really funny I have not had anyone in god decades maybe back in college they, no one's turned to me and they've been like oh that guy's on juice yeah I don't even have people say that to me anymore which just probably means Maybe I don't look good enough. I don't know, but <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. You know, I, um, you know, I mean, it, 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 to each his own. I mean, you just see so many, so many people. I, I was more, I'm more shocked about the people that are doing it. Yeah. That actually aren't getting any results now. It's like they just, they don't really, they haven't put the time and understand nutrition and training, and they just get on it thinking that they have no training age, and they just get on it thinking, oh, they're gonna get, they're gonna get the body of, of you know, one of these guys. It just, it's not realistic. I thought that was. Interesting though. I mean, I, that wasn't what I was expecting. In fact, um, that it was, it was, was somebody that? pointed out that, that 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 was there. Somebody pointed out to me. I guess I'm not shocked. Or, you know, now that I think about it, but it was like really that's a debate you want to have. This this guy who like that to me, that's an attainable physique if you thank you if you dedicate yourself and and you and you try and you do it right. Like that is a physique that you could you could aspire to to get thank you i mean listen let's let's face it i mean i i, I could pick out a, a million guys on covers that probably look a lot better than me and are a lot bigger than me a lot stronger than me a lot more lean and that's fine and i'm totally cool i mean i what i what i do i mean it's a lot it, it takes a lot of work i mean nutritionally you understand and training right. you understand and you know I, i'm curious to see how many guys on the covers are actually on it i'd love to give that information to the general public because there's a lot of kids out there going i want to look like that but i can't look like that because i don't know why Right. So, you know. But again, like it's 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 different because I know in in that issue it's online now. You you outline what you did to to get sure. in that shape. Yeah, but yeah. I mean it's 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 not that simple because it's it's a longer process. And you know what I mean? Like this is the culmination of years. You you're a twenty oh, year this professional. Is 20, this yeah. is twenty this is twenty Oh my this is so funny that you're bringing this up. I, I have two online clients right now that I work with. And how do you do that? Like you do you, you you, do, I, you know what? I, I, it's my, it's my, yeah. I, do you I wear do pants it, when you do that? Sometimes. Should, so yeah, sometimes. I'm just curious. Um, I do uh, a Zoom call or I do uh, WhatsApp. I've been using WhatsApp a lot. But I have this You're cheating one, on Zoom? Cheating on Zoom. Mm -hmm. Well, Zoom's like, I gotta sit down. It's a computer. I know, WhatsApp's just quick and easy. Yeah. Um, but I was sitting down with this guy and we were, it's really two people that I'm working with online, not including my Playbook app. Playbook's just way easier. It's way more cost effective. But, you know, he's asking me how much time. And, and I felt bad because I almost got a little upset with him. For asking me that question because a couple times already I've answered. I said, So Stop. was he like, how much time do I have to you do know, this for? Well, yeah, though no, he's just like, well, you know, like how much time is it going to take for me to start seeing results? And I'm like, you're seeing it. Yeah. He's like, well, what do you mean? I'm like, well, your your moving quality has gotten so much better. You're getting a hell of a lot stronger. You said you've yeah. been PRing on certain lifts. Um, you wanted to put size on, and you said you have to go in and get new clothes, and your waistline staying the same. Think about it. Yeah, I'm like. What do you really want? I mean, it's been three weeks already. If you're if you're not patient enough, and so I finally I, he was like, no, it's not what I meant. Relax. I'm like, no, 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 don't tell me to relax. Yeah. I'm like, it's gonna take three years. Sounds I like just I, I just said I just threw a number out there. Mm. I was like, I just threw a number out there because like who's what like quantifying what like you wanna like you wanna lose weight, you wanna gain weight, like what is it like it, it, you can see results in a day. Yeah, it sounds like he just has a piss poor attitude. I mean, how do you no, fix? He's, he's actually, you fix he's actually that? really good. He's a, he's actually a really nice guy. I, he just needs to understand that this is not, like you said, this nope. is twenty. Ben Pikulski said it to me. Nope, <laughs> not a nice guy. Piss poor attitude. Let's let's get ben, rid of him. Ben Pikulski, let's, let's, let, let's just fire him. Let's we're done with him. It's oh, over for you, guy. buddy. Ben Pikulski said it. he's like this is this is so this is a, a career. This was a career for him. This was years and decades right. of of work and it's just if you're it's the it's the wrong uh, there's no wrong question to ask it's the wrong question to ask how much time yeah it's one question that when someone will ask me it shows me that they're that their head's not really in it well that's it because you gotta you gotta enjoy it too right yeah. so like that's the whole thing which is what we talked about you know we've talked about this numerous times where if you don't find something that you enjoy you're gonna find a reason and an excuse to give up on it you gotta enjoy the process yeah 
And you, you also want to enjoy it. learning about yeah, it. You, you know, like the process. You gotta love. It. You gotta love it. And learning about your body. You know, it's it's weird how so many people will dive into learning about their electronics and things like that. But learning about how their body works. Is, that's a good way to put it. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah, it's strange how that's like you know immediately like oh. I don't know. <laughs> just it's fine. How long is it going to take? Just, just yeah, give me an hour. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. Want, yeah. But they can tell you everything I'm about stealing, how their I'm iPhone works. That. I'm stealing that one. That's all right. Just yeah. give credit where credit's due. I gave it. I gave it. And I like that Z that you're drawing there. It's very, very. Thank you. You should also see this. This sometimes I just str scribble, which reminds oh me to do something. I don't know. And by the way, have you, you know, in your 20 years, not your gym now. Your gym now is really nice and well kept. But like Thank you. over, and that's true. I'm not even kissing your ass, Thank and you. I was just there. So like. Thank you. In, and you it's, also, been, it's almost 14 years old. Really? Yeah. Damn, you, you keep a lot of nice uh, products in there, too, which is nice. That's a nice perk when you got to take a shower. Like, there's a lot of nice, like, yeah, grooming. Yeah. It's, it's, it's nice. It's definitely a waste of money. Really? You know, you now see why a lot of the gyms, you know, they, they run. you got to run lean. If you're going to own a gym, you really got to run the gym. So lean. I feel like by you saying that, you're thinking about getting rid of it. No. No, no, no. I'm not getting rid of the products. You got to keep the product. I mean, the product. I mean, but what I, what happened was when I opened, I had products that were running me a lot of money, and then I definitely downgraded them to stuff that's really nice and people love. But it's not like <clears throat> what I originally had in there. What is a what's one of the things owning a gym <laughs> that has become either like a money trap or something that like became something that you weren't expecting that ran that, you that know kept what? costing for you for me? Some money. My it's probably pretty unique because for me, I had to spend money on things that I probably shouldn't have had to spend on early on. What do you so, mean? Like you know, I, I had a like, uh, the, the, you know, I signed my lease when I was in my 20s. I didn't have anyone helping me out. I mean, I did this on my own with my brother. So, you know, there were things with the air conditioning that we paid for, um, our rent abatement. Like, we have a good rent price, but we had specific tax uh, tax ex escalations go up every year yeah. uh, for real estate taxes that should never have. There should have been a cap put on that. So I know things with the lease really kind of, you know, put us in a – I want to say tough situation, but, you know, it puts you in a compromising situation. You have to think twice. And then, you know, specific coaches, you know, you start looking at margins on what you're making per coach. And you got a coach that's phenomenal, and he's getting paid a little bit more. And you got another coach that's still phenomenal, but he's getting paid so much less. And there's just, you know, there's just things that you think make sense early on that when you really start peeling back the layers, and you go, wow, I just wasted 30 grand a year on that, and I just wasted 60 grand a year on that, and... This is costing me twelve hundred a month. When you start adding those numbers up, it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're like, but I can eliminate it. Yeah. So I, I, at the end of the day, like I really believe with the, with, with with a gym, it's got to be incredibly clean. Yeah. One, um, you have to have exceptional service. And when I say service, I mean like your coaches. If you have one front desk person, they've got to be warm. They, they got to greet you with a smile, and they got to help you out with anything you need. When you start offering a lot of additional services, a lot of fluff. The protein shakes, the juice bar, the wheatgrass, the cryotherapy. This is all driving up labor costs. Do you offer a celery? Uh, sh no. Celery. No, I actually used stuff? to offer wheatgrass, and I got rid of it. What about? Do you, what about celery? So the, the celery. Yeah, what is this yeah, thing with the celery craze? Right I don't now? know. You tell me. I, I've not had a celery shake in my life. I actually just celery read. Juicing thing. Who the hell just put up an interesting post on it that I said I was going to read? That I said I was going to listen to. Have you had it before? No. Me neither. Do you want to help me out? Sure. Let's go. You ring this out, and I'll have some. <laughs> Come on, my he man. What was this? Is this like this is even cleaned? No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, look, it's on my hands. Look it off my hands. Mm. Um, I got a little bit. I got a couple of couple of squirts. I don't even but, uh, want to put this in my mouth because I don't know what you were doing this earlier. So we're just gonna dismiss that whole. Section. It's actually right in my backpack. No, can we please? Can we please strike that? Please, please. Could you please strike that from the video? Thank you. My thing is this: <clears throat> Why would I just eat it? Why would I just eat it rather than just drink it? Makes sense. You know, it, it is kind of funny with this whole juicing craze. I mean, do you like ants on a log? It actually would be tasty with some peanut butter on there, if you think about it. But I this this whole juice craze is a little ridiculous. I mean, everyone's, you know, let's, let's juice celery. I don't understand it. How's it taste? It's so good. Oh, my God. Uh. 
Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> I can't do you. It's not bad. Wait, 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 wait. What do you, what do you, what, what do you think of it? it, it it's, it's just don't swallow it yet. I'm dying. No, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Are you gonna vomit? Mm -mm. Oh, oh, oh. Celery juice. Oh my god. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. Oh my god. Cheese with cat urine? Oh. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Oh. Dude, I feel really healthy. Alright. I'm gonna throw up. Where were we? I forget what we were talking about. Oh yeah, owning a gym. <clears throat> so, um... Dude, it's kind of focus. Maybe you need some celery juice or something. Honestly, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Start I mean, let's not pretend like you've never seen a person eat an entire celery, get a, spit out the juice in a cup, and then drink it. Okay, let's go. What were we talking about? So when you're trimming fat at the at the gym you own, right? Um, I, I guess one of the most awkward things I'm assuming has to be when you uh, when you got to fire a coach, right? Yeah, I mean, God, fortunately I haven't had to fire a lot of coaches. Really? Yeah, you you know what? It's I have with a few. I actually had one coach that I loved for years that just became incredibly unhappy Whoa. because of his commute. Yeah, he was commuting from outside the city, and he was coming in. I, I mean, I, lo I, I loved him; he was fantastic. But uh, I definitely, you know, I think with the energy he was bringing in, and I just think to the point where we just, it just wasn't for him. I had to let him go. What was that, was that conversation like? Like, uh, if I'm him, and like I'm coming in from no, like I just sat him down. I said, "Listen, this is never easy." And. We've had an incredible relationship over the years. And was he like, oh, hey, Don. Oh, no, 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 what do you no, want? No, 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 he was more shocked. He couldn't believe it. He's like, this is, I can't believe it. But I, I think he, he pivoted and it worked out to be great for him. I've had coaches have picked up and leave, left me and, you know, have done completely wrong by me with, you know, stealing clients or yeah. thinking that they were entitled to specific things that they weren't. You know what? Listen, at, at the... At the time, you're you know you're very angry and you're like, oh, I started this guy out, and you know I think it's a little bit of immaturity on my part. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of them are kids and they don't yeah. you know they make poor poor decisions and you kind of move on from it. It's you know I, I've I, I've learned from it, but um, it's never easy. I mean, listen, when you I think having wants and needs in, in anything in life are, are are two different things, and I think right. in business you have to look at things you want and things you need, and you'd be surprised at how lean you can operate. Um, your business you're used to running it a certain way and when you go through that budget and you decide all right no we can trim the fat we can cut you start seeing who really has your back from an employee standpoint you start seeing you know wow we can function on this but um yeah, yeah I, i've had to do it i mean i feel like it's one lesson any biz every businessman has to go through when you um <clears throat> when you were younger i'm sure like me you 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 trained in some real shit holes yeah, some of my favorite gyms. Yeah. Some and of my favorite places ever were places that were very dungeony and, you know, not beautiful and, you know, kept well. But, you know, I mean, Ben Francis Powerhouse. I mean, I wouldn't call that a luxury gym. Yeah. You know, but one of my favorite places I've ever been to. Um, how, how, how often do you train there? I probably go there once a week. Probably, you know, because there's one day a week I'll train from home. And I, there's, a, there's a gym in my town that I don't go to, and it's nice. But I go to Bev's. Do you boycott it? No, I didn't boycott it. I still refer people there. I just need I go to Bev's because it's, it's much more... Serious, and I, I've got some friends there. Um, Steel Gym, one mm -hmm. of my old, one of my old favorite spots. I mean, that was a hellhole. It was a dungeon, and they closed that down. So you know. I was just thinking the other day. I'm like. What about you? Do you have a favorite gym all time? No. The obstacle course. <laughs> just, just everywhere is my gym. Spartan. <laughs> no, I was just thinking the other day. I'm like, I was just thinking of some really disgusting gyms I've trained in, and. Like some of the disgusting things that I've taken with me out of there, like athlete's foot and ringworm. Yeah. Yeah. It just yeah. It made me just freely shudder. Yeah, and there's, you know, listen, there's, I mean, at some nice gyms, there's things going on that you may not want to be subjected to. Yeah. You know, I've walked into the steam rooms at Equinox and immediately walked right out. 
It's just, you know, it's, it's, it's environment. I remember I belonged to David Barton at one point and I was in the shower and I turned around and there's like five guys and like literally looking in the shower and you're like, come on, man. The, like, the OG, the original David Barton? No, no, no. This was the one down on 23rd Street that ended up becoming Crunch. Yeah, it's just like, you know, man, I'm here to work out, man. Like, you know, and I don't, I don't freak out. I'm like, just. Well, that was like a notorious, what is it, more of like a club type of gym? Like, I don't try, like, well, I don't want to give any stereotypes, but it was. No, more like no, no, a, no, it was everywhere from the lighting. You went yeah. in there, he wanted to create this nightclub atmosphere. And it, but it, but it's funny when you start looking at even the, even the nicest clubs, yeah. they're just specific things that just work. And don't. It, it's a very similar formula. I mean, there's. Things that just aren't going to work in a gym. I mean, you know, the trainer cuts, the trainer payouts, like the level ones in Equinox, yeah. by far, like Equinox, um, uh, like management, like their their corporate, they love the level ones. What about his new gym, Temple? Is it still around? Yeah, it is actually. Is it actually, doing well? I had a coach of mine. I had a coach of mine that worked there. He said it was really cool. Yeah, that's I cool. Know. I haven't been there. I never went there. I was invited, and I think I just never I went. Not to go. I don't know. Because you know what? I don't get invited to the, to the Today Show, but I got invited to Temple once. We could bring you on if you don't eat celery and drink. And I, I don't think I would. I, piss. I'm not really in, in, I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> not, if I can't Sex do that. Like I'm, I want out. I, I don't really want to. I mean, honestly, like, I, again, I, don't, I think you're a, a very good representative in that, in that scenario. Thank you. I'm not. I, I have I, no I interest. I think you sell yourself short. I just have no interest. Yeah. There's a difference. Like, I don't want to, for me, I don't want to go play ball like that listen everyone's got their I, so perfect example I, i'm up um being interviewed with this with this guy jason tardick who is one of the bachelor contestants one of the nicest guys intelligent smart i i, I would never be a bachelor i would never be on the on the show the bachelor i have yeah. no interest on the other hand he would never be a trainer i mean it's right. just things and it's nothing it's nothing insulting about that i think it's just personality like he's like he i, I after knowing him i'm sh i'm almost shocked that he did do it um ben higgins some of these other guys like they're just normal people they just they they did it they, they were more coughing up like no it's an experience i'm gonna go did it and, and it they, they hit a home run with it because it's led to so many other things so i'm not one to judge i mean i think everyone to each his own like you either want to do it or you don't want to do it you're talking about social media earlier you're like, yeah, I'm not really into it. Then don't do it. Like, you yeah. don't don't force something. Like, you gotta you gotta you gotta feel it. And you gotta want to do something to. Like, I enjoy social media because yeah. I'm getting my message ac across to people. Yeah. And I'm, I'm teaching and I'm educating. I'm inspiring. And right. It's something that's important to me, and that's why I do it. I don't do it for money. I don't do it because I'm trying to. Yeah. Am I trying to sell up? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Am I am I trying to give people a means to an end and teach them if they want to train with me, they can use a product I have. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not sitting there hard selling anyone. I'm just trying to help. You know. Yeah. No, I agree. No, I, but I think you're right. It's like I, I go through spurts. I try to, I'm like, you know, damn it, I'm going to do better at this. And then I'm just like, <sighs> and then I also, I get self-conscious and I'm like, I'm going to write something super witty. And then I'm just, I stare at a screen and I'm like, I don't have anything witty. Your to say. energy, your energy is put into one thing. And that's another thing too. Like your energy is here. Yeah. And that's where your bandwidth is, and your energy is with your wife and baby, and that's where you're. No, 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 not there, <laughs> not there at all. Absolutely not. No, it is, of course. And like my energy is, um, yeah, I want. I'm trying to get a lot of initiatives done for muscle and fitness. We have a lot of ideas that we kick around. So it's like, yeah, that's where it is. And then I'm like, yeah, for me right now, social media is an aside, and I'm like, oh damn it, like I should do something. And then I'm like, what am I gonna do? Like, it. Eh, so just I don't know. You're right. Maybe one day it'll click, but for now. I'm okay with having uh, zero people follow me. Well, it. well it's, it's at least one because I follow you. Thank you. That's very kind. Um, and your stuff's great, by the way. I mean, oh, it's, it's, it's really terrific. Every four months when I post something. Um, did I meant to ask you when we were talking about the, the documentary stuff, did you ever watch that Ronnie Coleman documentary? I did. I didn't. Am I allowed to talk about it? Obviously not. So why'd you even bring it up? No, now it, 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 no, no, it. because I, I don't know if I'm going to watch it because it, it's, it, it makes me sad. Like, I did see him. Um, I was in L.A. not too long. Or I, well, maybe L.A. or it may have been at, 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 a, um, at a convention, and I saw him being pushed around. And it was really, it, it's, it's strange, you know what I mean? And it's, it's just weird to see him like that. And I know that that's, that's a possibility. Was one of my, honestly, I mean... One of my favorite guys to have watched. Yeah. I don't mean on the stage. I mean looking at his YouTube videos of him training. Yeah. And how lovable he was, and you know, yeah, baby, mm -hmm. and like just, just this energy. Yeah. And, and the thing I think I, I think I have the most respect for Ronnie now is that he has been to hell. 
yep. and, and back. I mean, the guys had probably, you know, I mean, I would think a couple dozen, a dozen surgeries, a couple dozen surgeries. He's still in the gym. Still. He's still in the gym, but his positive, like he's, yeah. he's in a neck sling the other day where he can't move his neck and he had c- cervical surgery and right. the guy's yeah, busted I mean, yeah. up and he's just like, you can't keep me down. And he's yeah. just like positive and happy and with his daughter at McDonald's eating and you know, this is a guy, I mean, you saw saw this guy pull 805 off the floor when he was, when he was contest dieting a few weeks out, and I think he got it for a double or triple, and he's like, I I was angry because I could have gotten it for five. I know. You know, and it's all, I mean, that's, that's, like, that's what sport brings us, it brings us enjoyment. I mean, a lot of times we go, what we use social media for is to get wowed. You sit there and you watch people who are doing things that are just unfathomable, and yeah. you're just like, "Oh my God, that's insane!" Ronnie was that. Ronnie was that guy. Yeah. In bodybuilding, no one has ever had a physique like like Ronnie. No, no one. No. Uh, he's but on his own. He's on his own world. In his own world. It's it's one <clears> thing too because people want to debate like, oh, you know, um, you know, he did it to himself with all that heavy weight. But we every sport is is punishment to your body. There's a cost of doing business. Right. So it's like that's every sport. So the more the harder you push yourself and the more you do it, um, you know, you're as you said, there's there's that cost. So it's, He did it to himself. I also I also truly believe that when he was doing it and he was feeling good doing it, he didn't know what the repercussions were gonna be. No, but that's a lot but that's a lot of athletes. And I think it's and again it's not and I'm not Look, this is what he wanted to do, and he's clearly happy with his decisions. And I think, I, and look, who am I or you or anybody else to tell someone else how they should live? Like the guy has done what he wanted to do, but I think it's important to, you know, to bring that up that when you play sports, specifically contact sports, there are repercussions from that, um, and you see it a lot. You know, now it's a big topic with with football um, and, and and head trauma. So mm-hmm. it's it's not just putting a lot of, of uh, stress on your joints and muscles. There's other things that are, you know, come into play here. So it's, you know, you look at Ronnie Coleman, and that is one one story to tell, but there's a lot of other ones, too. You can go, I mean, you look at Arnold's heart surgery, you mm-hmm. can look at, I mean, how many bodybuilders <clears throat> later on who were once world class had to have several surgeries or having health issues now. I mean, yeah. it's impressive to me to see a guy who's able to. I mean, I think Dorian Yates is pretty good, isn't he? I mean, he. Yeah. I think he he really downsized a little. I mean, that was a guy who was at. Yeah, I, I wouldn't necessarily say he was at Ronnie's level, but he. Same Jay Color. Same with Jay Color. He looks good. Yeah, he looks good, and I think they're somewhat healthy. So it's interesting that once I, I just don't know if Ronnie Ronnie I know trained through a lot of injury. Yeah. And I, I I don't know if the last ten years or fifteen years I would bet Ronnie was probably in pain, almost throughout every workout with something, whether it was yeah. his hip or his knee, his back, whatever it was. I think it was always a factor in his training. So to see him actually get those Olympia titles and come in at the shape that he went in, where I bet you he was injured for a lot of them. It's it's unbelievable. I mean, he was on another level. Yeah, I mean, he's someone I'd love to get on this interview. I wonder how possible that is. I mean, <clears throat> I think it's very possible. I think we'd have to be there, ish. Right? Who's he in Texas? He's in Texas. Let's fly to Texas. Let's sit down and interview him. We really should. I mean, he's unbelievable. I mean, I think the lesson there for general public is that there's a cost of doing business. But is he, and, and how does he feel about it? Does he regret it? I, so, I don't know. I don't if think he does. I also don't know if that's possible. He might be a Generation <clears throat> Iron guy that just does stuff with Generation Iron. He might be contracted with them. Huh. I don't know. I might be wrong. I'm pretty connected with those guys. Are you? Yeah. Cool. Vlad and Vlad's supposed to come down and check out the gym. And uh, Edwin. Do you know Edwin? Probably not. So Edwin, I, can I try not to know anybody. <coughs> Let me re- I, I can reach out and see if we can set something up. I try not to have any friends or contacts <clears throat> or or anything. Yeah, actually, Edwin got me. I I interviewed uh, Callum Von Moger. Yeah. Through Edwin, got me that that interview on my podcast. Yeah. Brought him out. He's a really nice kid. I um, seem really. I don't know if you guys have had any experience with him here, but um, I've never interviewed him. But we've. We I know we have. He was. He was fine. So really you always nice. have nice things to say about people. Well, I, I don't I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just, you know, I'm also going into a situation where I'm interviewing him, and so he's got no real reason to be an asshole. To me. Yeah. I, I also have never done business with him, or I don't know, you know, how, how honest he Who is. Who don't you like? Let's let's get it out. Let's talk about this. Who don't? Come on. There's got to be somebody. No. I, you know, I know somebody, but I'm not going to bring it up because I don't think you're comfortable bringing it up. I'm not because it just doesn't do any good. It's not that I don't like him. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. It's not that I don't like him. I don't like... He did something to me that I don't like. Right. So I think it really comes down to that. But 
I'm letting it go. I'm standing right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm letting it go. Yeah. You know, there's just certain character things that specific people do. And I think I've, I've gotten to the point now where I've realized that when someone does that, that's just who they are. And yeah. It's just what I don't want to be around. So I kind of remove myself. And so I, I, I typically, I surround myself with really good people. Yeah. Um, so we're not being cryptic. Who would it be? Like, what's one hint that you could, that you would feel comfortable giving? So maybe... If somebody were listening, all five people that might listen to this could try to figure it out. Not giving it. Could I? If it's what? just like... I'm not going to answer it, so whether you're right or wrong, I'm not going to answer it. What if it was just like... Hut, hut, hut! <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Is that... I don't know. That's it's very funny. I think, thank you. It's funny. Thank you. Um, no, you know, it's it just, you know... <laughs> People, people make choices, and when you when you sit there and you extend yourself to someone and you help them out, or you're yeah. trying to help them out, and they're and then they turn around and they throw something in your face, it's just it's showing them that they're they're not a good person. Um, so. Do you ever go to any of these types of conventions? Like, uh, I do. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you go into the Arnold Classic? And I haven't been to the Arnold in years. Um, I, I actually I actually enjoy them. Do you? Yeah, I actually like going. I actually like seeing what's you know. I like I like the energy. I like I, I wouldn't necessarily say. You know, I mean, I know a lot of people at them, but a, a lot of people there. But it's just a fun energy. It's a fun energy environment. I like checking out athletes on stage who really worked hard. I mean, you can say what they want, and you can you, say, you can say what you want, and steroids and this and that. They worked really hard with yeah. diet and no, training. No, they, they and, did. I mean, and I, it's a lot of respect that I have for them to get from point A to point B because there's a lot of times that they wanted to go do things that they couldn't do, um, yeah. party engagements, whatever it might be. So I enjoy. I, I love seeing like the strongman events. Uh, the you know a lot of the powerlifting events, um, it's fun. I mean, I mean the Arnold. I think I went to twice. I've been to the Olympia probably five or six times in Vegas. I, I was going to the Olympia back when I was at Mandalay Bay. It was fun. Yeah. So you don't you don't enjoy the events anymore? Sometimes um, it depends though. Like it's I enjoy. I'm there a lot of the day. You know what I mean? Right. Who who we? Uh, well, someone someone was just calling, so I just turned it off. Hmm. Sorry. Um. <laughs> It's also it's also difficult because like uh, there's things that I would I would I want to happen there yeah and I'm not in a position to really make them happen mm -hmm. if that makes sense like yeah. there's stuff I would love I think they could be different but maybe it's maybe I'm wrong maybe like I'm not maybe I'm thinking of a whole different event you right. know what I mean right. so uh, but I, I, I maybe I don't know I don't think I am I think it could be really really cool. And I do pitch some events, but uh, I think it could be really different. Right. And I, I want it to be that. I want it to be more inclusive of the, the industry, specifically of the Olympia, um, of the industry as a whole. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's a good, there, you know, bodybuilding is obviously represented, but I think that there's a lot of other people that are not there. <clears throat> and I think that getting them getting them to the table would, would really help try to like get them involved in the the community and also like expose them to this brand and see like what we're trying to do here which is broaden what we cover right and it's it's not an e it's not been an easy task like, we're really working hard at it right. so you know that's that's something i want to continue to do but yeah it's uh well, what's interesting is bodybuilding it, it really is such a niche market yeah and it really is such a small percentage of the health and fitness realm um and if you look at anyone who's healthy and who wants to be fit they're not looking into this category and saying i want to look like that no but there are pe the thing is the people that want to, to to do that are already going so I'm saying instead of trying to get more people to want to do that, we're already feeding that audience. So why not get more people that want to either look better, feel better, move better, and also just want to have fun? Like we right. can create more fun. I know we've talked about that. We brain, you helped me brainstorm a bunch of ideas. There's, there's, there's ways of even setting up training templates where I, I, I think that we're always going for what's optimal. Yeah. And a lot of times we're putting out there like these crazy periodized programs and people get bored. So I tell people to switch up programs and a few things happen. One – when you feel like it stops working, meaning like when you were seeing a result and you're like, all right, I'm not seeing a result. Like if you're having fun with the program and you're continuing to get stronger and it says the program six or seven weeks, like who's saying it has to be six or seven weeks? Yeah. That makes sense. Or when you get bored. 
Yeah. When you get bored, then I'm like, you're bored? Is the, is the program working? Yeah, it's working. I'm getting stronger, but I absolutely hate it. Stop, stop doing it. Yeah. Unless you're competing to be in some Olympic sport where you need that targeted types yeah. of training. If you're general pop, you do not need to do something that you don't like. Yeah. I mean, it's different. I've talked to a lot of bodybuilders who, like, their, their diet's working. So even if they hate it, they'll keep doing it. And I totally understand it. Because if something's working and you have this... Yeah, but that's bodybuilding and, yeah. and dieting, and that's it, something very specific. Well, that's what I'm saying. If right. you have this end game in sight and it's working, if it's if it's not broke, don't fix it. Right. So, uh, but for the rest of us, it's like we're just looking for something that can continue it, so you can keep keep going and keep seeing those results and keep, you know, feeding that motivation. So, sure. Uh, but yeah, I meant like for the overall, like mostly the expo is what I was talking about. Like, for, like mostly like that that atmosphere. And I mean, like the good thing is there, you know, there's a, a, some new blood. This year, like a guy named Dan Solomon took it over, and he's, you know, pitched him a bunch of ideas. He's been working hard, so we gotta I, do a booth at the. I'd love to do a booth at like some of the, some of the uh, shows. I mean, you set up a booth like this, and we went around and we grabbed people, and you brought them in and you interviewed them. We're going to the Arnold. I mean, we're we're trying to secure space. If um, you guys can get a booth. I would. I would we go. can't get a booth because no, it's not, not a booth, crazy but, expensive. No, but like, but like, but like a table. Can you get a table set up or can a you? Table. Uh, Muscle Fitness isn't gonna have a booth at the Arnold. No. <clears throat> where are you gonna have? Where are you gonna be? We're go we're looking to secure a meeting room in like the Crown Plaza. Um, okay, so what if we we had the meeting room and we were able to book a couple of interviews? Well, the, Don's Don's catching up to where yeah, to okay. where we are. Well, I'm oh, I'm in if you guys want to go do that. If you guys want to do that, and I'm dude, Columbus is raging this time of year. Yeah, it's, it's freezing too. Yeah. Um, no, I mean that's what we want to do. Right, okay. We want to do some really cool stuff at the Olympia. We have a little more leeway because it's it, it, this company runs that show. Sure. Um, and Dan's really cool. Like that's I will say that like he's been really receptive to like making sure that um, we get content that we want to do. Uh, so when I tell him like, hey, I don't want to just stay, you know, in the expo, he's like, don't, like, get out of here, you know, like. Not that he has to approve it or whatever, but, like, I'm trying to figure out a way that we can do a lot more. Um, yeah, this is, this is a boring conversation. For no, 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 I mean, no. it's, 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 it's meaningful to, like, two people here, and, like, nobody, like, it's just boring. Okay. So it's All something right. else we could talk about later. Okay, Do, you know what else? I noticed you have, um, the, okay, I was talking to, and I don't remember the guy's name, I apologize, it was at your gym, um, one of the best innovations on a rowing machine was a little shelf for your smartphone and i can't believe it took i feel like forever Decades. for somebody it to really do it is. i'm gonna pat rob milani from perform better yeah i think that was his dude mother. it's like when because I, I saw that they were putting together some some new machines uh in, oh, in no, 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 it's, it's unbelievable. Remember when we didn't have the earbuds either, yeah. and you had to have the cord, and you're yeah. laying it on the ground, and you're trying to row, and the thing's like, yeah. not even. Huh? So I saw that, and I was, he, you know, was, we were kind of just talking about the differences, and he was like, yeah, this between the concept two, and he's like, the major difference? And he just pulled it up, and I'm like, oh, my, oh my God. God. That's it, sold. That's like. Sold. Yeah, and we were going through the various spots sold. that we would put our phones, like, it would go here, and then it would fall off, and then it would be, you know, you have to angle it. It was so nice. Also, do you use, uh, I think at your gym the other day, I don't know if it was Jake Gyllenhaal or what's his name, uh, Jack Ryan. But oh, they were John, on, John Krasinski. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, they were on the uh, Aerodyne bikes. Yeah, but they were also, was one of them on the Versa Climber? It might have been. Yeah, uh, probably Jake's big on the Versa Climber. Yeah, I thought it was. Um, yeah, he's definitely a beast. Yeah. He's in, he's in great shape. I thought it was Jim Halpert, but it wasn't. It was the <laughs> other guy. Was he uh what you use the Versa Climber? I use it. I want one so bad. Come by, use mine. Maybe I will. They're not like I, I got to be at forty two hundred bucks yeah. for a piece of cardio equipment. It's expensive. I know. And um, that's why I love the Airdyne bikes because I use that seven eight hundred bucks. So when you're on the Airdyne bike, what is your like? What, typically, what do you you know? What's your? It's really. What I, are you I, doing? I'm never really How? going more than like I like I just did this ten minute test the other day, which was fun and. Um, it's so funny when you when you put a post up like that, how people just obviously have to comment and, yeah. well, the road bikes are harder. And I'm like, well, great. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, prove it. Or like, I'm like, oh, God. Like, yeah. you know, I, I just, I, I did the test in front of three, three athletes, three professional athletes, and we were all, I'll film it next time if you want, but like, why am I even going to feed into it? But, um, you, you know, I, I, I mean, that cardio equipment, I mean, they are, they are a big bang for your buck, you know, pieces of cardio equipment for the amount of money it's going to cost you. And, 
what you're getting in return, I think is pretty awesome. So I think there's, when you look at something like that, that's 800 bucks and a Versa Climber, that's 4,200 bucks. You know, it's, it's, um, it's pretty good. And yes, the Versa Climber has specific benefit that the bike doesn't have, and I get that. Right. But um, I know, but I know what you're big, saying. That's a big price discrepancy. But at the same time, um, it def- it's also like my wallet sometimes determines how much I'm going to pay for those uh, benefits. I don't think, I, I never think, like when you're, when it comes to building, you're building a home gym and like, don't cheap out. Like, buy higher quality, make sure that it doesn't break down and you're going to be on it, you're going to be intrigued more. Like, I'm not saying that, trust me, I, I've blown plenty, pl- a lot of money on specific things, but, uh, you hookers, know, fitness. cocaine, uh, meth, uh, lewds. and cocaine's been yeah. a long time. <laughs> a long time. Um, no, I got it. I'm not saying I enjoy it, it. I, I really liked it. Yeah, no, I mean, and cocaine the lewds, too, yeah, it's very good. Uh, no, I, I, I love, but, like, how, like, when you're going, are you going full go for, like, 10, 15 seconds, and then? Uh, yeah, it depends. I mean, sometimes, um, yeah, I didn't answer your question. I just realized that. Yeah. Ten seconds. I noticed. Sorry. Buddy. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes we'll do like um, like like a ten second burst. Um, I mean, dude, there's so many different ways. Um, uh, there's so many different ways of structuring. You can go ten on fifty off. You know, twenty on forty off. I mean, I, I did the other day ten minutes trying to get uh, two hundred fifty calories in as little time as possible. I did like nine twenty or something like that. Like just doing things, you know, short bursts where you're getting a lot of bang for your buck in return and not needing a lot of time, but. I'm not saying like high intensity, medium intensity, steady state, they all have their place. Don't just say, oh, high intensity is going to burn more fat. Like, all right, but it could drain you with your lifestyle. So we need to go into these other components. You know? Yeah. You ever, you ever whiten your teeth? I think I did years ago. Why? How do I look? No, you're fine. I'm just curious because I feel like I have to because you I drink. Say, no, because I drink too much coffee. I'm not, you're drinking a lot of that piss, that keto, that keto, well, that yeah. keto. Well, that just actually just wreaks havoc on my breath. That keto mimosa that yeah. you just had with it's the, the coffee, celery. The, the coffee ruins my teeth. The piss is actually just a breath thing. Um, but, yeah. Thank you. Nothing, nothing worse than old piss breath. <laughs> you can have that. No, there's, no, there's, there's one gram of sugar. There's okay. no, there's no <laughs> smile. I'm just curious. We hope you guys have a tremendous week. Uh, we're going to get Zach some toothpaste and some mouthwash. We're going to close out right now. Uh, any questions, fire them off the blow. And we'll be sure to get back to you.